We'll not be here in the summer. What do you mean? The world's gonna end March the 17th. Give over. It is, it's the Gothic prophecy. Gothic chummy rot. Well, according to my diary, one of the many perks of an important job at Davenport Motors... Oh, wow. March 17th is on a... Th oh, it's on a Thursday. It's on St. Patrick's Day. That's an odd sort of a choice, don't you think, Kev? That's all you know. Thursday is named after Thor, God of Thunder. And that's what we'll get, and fire and brimstone and stuff. What the hell do you think you're playing at, Rosie? We're goths. This is how we're supposed to look. Is this your idea, Craig? I'm not talked too into it, if that's what you mean. This is how I want to look, and I can make my own decisions. Not in this house, you can't. Get upstairs and wash that dye out, right now. Uh, it won't wash out now. Not for ages, anyway. And we haven't got ages left. We're all gonna die in March. Stop wittering on about that. You're in trouble. And I bet you are as well, Craig, when your dad sees you. You look a right mess. The pair of you. If you think they look a mess, Dad, you want to see our bathroom? Have we got a surprise for you? Hey, troublemaker. Oh, I'm not in the mood for surprises. Hi, Mum. What have you done? Damn yeah. I can see that. And oh, what's that stuff on your face? You know what it is? You look ridiculous. Thanks, Mum. Get in that off for starters. Mum, what are you doing? You, you think you can me? do what you want, don't you? So... You can't! <laughs> Sal, Sal, get off her! Get off her! What do you think you're playing at? I work so hard for this family. Aww. Everything I do is for you. Everything! And this is how you repay me, you ungrateful slapper! What have you done to yourself now? It's temporary, all right? No, it's not all right. Get upstairs and get it washed off now. Why? What's the point? No one's going to see it. I can see it, and I don't give you pocket money to waste it on rubbish. Yeah, well, it's even more of a waste if I have to wash it off. It's hard being a goth, you know. I know. Everyone thinks you're a devil worshipping freak. I know. Of course, I keep snagging my hair and things. Oh, dear son, I would, but it's against my gothic principles. I think I'm going off being a goth. Uh Great. We was thinking Spain, maybe, now. You know, now your mum's earning a decent wage, we thought. We deserve a family treat. Oh, that's brilliant. So what do you reckon, Rosie? And God's allowed to travel? No! What God! is the point? We won't be here after March 17th, anyway. Once the world ends... You're mad, you are. You believe any old rubbish or stupid bands tell you? Yeah, we'll only try and sell more CDs to idiots like you and Craig. What do you know? You're into... Get some out! Get some out! Get some out! So how is the will going to end them, Rosie? Please tell us. Hurricanes, meteors, what? You're just taking the mick. <laughs> yeah, well, I think the other does a brilliant idea. Well, between you and me, Sophie, I think Rosie does too, but goths aren't allowed to get excited. It's not in the rules. Yeah, well, I ain't going to be a goth when I'm her age. No way. Me and Jasna, we're going to be chavs. Yeah, you would. Rosie? I don't want to waste the time I've got left trailing around some shopping pretty soon. Oh, I'll take that as a no, then. You're not supposed to dance. Why not? I have to like dancing, eh? Go on. Admit it, I am sensational, eh? What lesson? No way. Oh, Kevin, turn it down. You're not being so funny. Hey, Sal, you dancing? Uh, no, not to that stuff, I'm not, thanks. Typical. Do you want to go to your house? Yeah, okay. Hey, do you like my new trainers? Yeah, I mean, like, whatever. The only thing's putting your feet. Oh, you're a muppet. You're a goth. Infant. Nink and poop. There's enough of you for one day. <laughs> a golf on a bike. <laughs> She'll look well stupid. I'm not going. Bike riding's for kids. It'll be fun. Rosie doesn't do fun. Laugh, <laughs> <laughs> you're a golf. <laughs> yeah, well, we're allowed to laugh at others' misfortune. <laughs> you know that corset I got at Athlex? Yep. I don't think I can wear it. I mean, I tried to put it on this morning, but it was so tight. I couldn't bend down to put my boots on. You're going to put your boots on first. Oh, right. Says with headphones on, listen to devil music. It's not devil music. Yeah, it is. Dad says it is. And he says you look gay. <laughs> I hate it here. Let's go to your house. At least you haven't got parents getting at you all the time. An annoying sister.
Do you ever think before you open your mouth? I'd love to have parents getting at me. I'd love to have an annoying sister back. Craig, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, forget it, Rosie. You've been doing me heading for ages now. What do you mean? You dumped. You can't dump me. You love me. No, I don't. Not anymore. You're not even a proper goth. You're not even a proper goth. You're not even a proper goth. Hey, up, look out, it's Morticia and Lurch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mum, we're going into town. Can I have some money for a new summer jacket? We've found this dead good shop in town. It's called Dress to Kill. She wants. Best lamb chops Fred Elliott gave to your dad for doing his car so quick. Yeah, finest quality meat that I say, finest quality meat that I saw for. I'm not eating that. I'm a vegetarian. Since when? Since 11 o'clock this morning. She actually has been thinking quite hard about this, Miss Webster. She knows it's like a serious lifestyle choice. Right, I read on the internet that Marilyn Manson was confined to a wheelchair until he gave up hamburgers. Oh, and rubbish you come out with. <laughs> it's not rubbish, and I'm not eating that. Right, well, just eat your vegetables, then. I can't. There's meat juices all over them. This is just another fad, isn't it, to annoy me? Not everything's about you. I'm a vegetarian, right? Come on, Craig, let's go to the cheapest. Sit down! Me and your dad work our fingers to the bone for you. Aww. I'll be in that stinking factory full-time come Monday to keep you in your stupid clothes and your pantomime makeup. So whether you like the chop or not, you will sit there and you'll have the decency to wait until the rest of us are finished. So? For God's sake. It takes 35 calories of fossil fuel to produce one calorie of pork. Did you know that? No. It's not just cruel to the pig, it's a waste of the Earth's resources. High fat, low carb and low fibre. Mm, nice taste. <laughs> and animal products peachify the colon. What does that mean? Mm, if it means what I think it means, you're wrong. It's a scientific fact. No. Cabbage, sprouts, broccoli, anything green putrefy the colon. Oh, uh, what is that? It's a pork chop. Are you trying to make some kind of bone? Mum, we had traps yesterday. Yeah, well, this is Postlethwaite pork. It's the best money can buy. Yeah, and yesterday I told you I was a vegetarian. Look, I've had a bad day. Aww. I've had a lot on my mind, but it cost a lot of money. So just eat it and you can be a vegetarian again tomorrow. I'm a vegetarian for life. If we were meant to eat meat, we wouldn't have the hands, teeth and intestines of a herbivore. Rosie... You are not leaving this table tonight until you have eaten that chop. Got some more custard? Yes, please. Mm, this is delicious. Mm. Don't worry, I'll save you some. I'm not eating it. Well, you know the rules. If you don't eat your main course, you don't get a pudding, even when it is your favourite. Well, just eat the chop, Rosie. It's only a small one. You can be a vegetarian again tomorrow. I'm not playing at this, you know. I've made it a life decision. No, I'll make another one and eat your tea. You know what? I thought you'd respect me for standing up for a principle. <laughs> not a daft one. I'm not eating it. Yes, you are. You are going to sit there until you do. Dad's got Bend It Like Beckham on DVD. Oh no, God! Make him pop corn. I don't care. Suit yourself. And I might let them have some ice cream. Let... Hey, stay there. Stay there. Hello? Oh, hi, Pippa. Yeah, Rosie's here, but she can't come to the phone right now because she's still eating a tea. <laughs> yeah, she is a slow eater, isn't she? Yeah, well, I'll get her to phone you back when she's finished it all up. Or oh, she'll see you at school tomorrow. All right, bye. Oh, you must be hungry. Not Shut me. the fuck you haven't eaten up! Anything since lunch. Ew. I can smell that trap from here. Well, it's still safe to eat. I don't care. I am not touching it. Are you the same girl who was badgering us to send money to that telly appeal? Because there's people out there who are starving. They'd be Aww. glad of good food like that. Aren't you ashamed? It's you lot that should be ashamed. I bet those pigs were chained to the floor, lying in their own mess. Ew. 
Hey, I can't eat that now. Oh, yes, you can. Do you know, that bacon costs twice as much as normal, and do you know why? Because of you. Because that is organic and it's free range. Hey, can't argue with that. This died peacefully in its sleep with its family down its bed. So, does that mean we should eat you when you die? Eating meat's wrong and I won't do it. Don't you dare! <laughs> You've got to eat some love. Just eat the mash. I can't. It's got sausage juice in it. Anyway, she's put margarine in there. What's up with Marge? Duh, animal fat. She should buy the stuff with vegetable oil. Oh. Do you honestly think I've got time to read the labels and everything I pick up? I go out to work, I cook, I clean. I break my back for this family to send you to a decent school and all you do is throw it back in my face. Oh, Come on, Rosie. Eat your tea. How many times have I got to say it? I am not eating meat! Oh, all right! All right! All right! 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 Go on, then! Eat them! <laughs> there! Plenty to go around. Sorry, Rosie's just become a vegetarian. <laughs> you are? Don't apologise for me. It's nothing to be ashamed of. All oh, right! So that's what they teach her at this posh school. Or should I say brainwash? <laughs> Shut Rosie is the entitled fuck to her up. beliefs. One, not a phase is a wife choice. Yeah. Not a phase is a wife choice. Yeah. Not a phase is a wife choice. Oh. Yeah. With that, we don't have a choice. Man, eat meat. <laughs> <laughs> you two doing? We're making a protest. Against what? Against cruelty to animals. There's no animals in there, there's just dead meat. Yeah, well there were animals once. Yeah, but you're not going to release a leg of lamb into the wild, are you? Wasting your time. This affects real people. This stops the flesh eaters at source. Yeah, and it's close to the bus stop for school. Those nits are living creatures though, aren't they? Mm, not for much longer than not. Well, can't we release them? You what? Release them into the wild, set them free. The nits, not battery chickens. The parasites. And when this bit's finished. Okay, you can look. <gasps> Pig! <laughs> I'm 15! You're just a kid. Hey. I was expecting Craig. Posers. <laughs> Hiya. What have you done to yourself? You look really weird. I bought you these. Well, did you buy them or did you bring them? There is a grammatical difference. I bought them. Whatever. Dad, please don't pretend you know a thing about goth culture. But uh, I live with you, don't I? Jack Johnson. Oh, God! Craig, you're scaring me. I don't know, he's, he's really chill. You've done it on the eyeliner, haven't you, Craig? Posers. Mum, do you mind not interfering in my conversations, please? You were so shameful. Well, I like Jack Johnson. Yeah, because you're about 90 million years old. Oh! me all weekend, and I'm just sick of it. Yeah, well, it's only because they're worried about you. You're their little girl. Little? Craig, have you stood behind her when the sun's shining? It's like an eclipse. Oh! Explain yourself. You're in a really weird headspace. All of you. And as for what you're wearing. It's just when I was at the hospital and I was asking the doctors how you were, I could see them all looking at me. We were all on edge because of the way I looked. And since then it's really done me adding. You're not even a proper goth. Yeah, we want people to think that we're freaks. So I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being judged everywhere I go. You're not even a proper goth. Look, Rosie, I just want to be normal. You're not even a proper goth. I've had enough of stuff happen to me in my life without people oh. treating me like I'm a monster. Two thousand years later. Honestly, Rana, she's always had to be centre of attention. <laughs> First, she was a goth. 
month and then you become that vegetarian. <laughs> hey, they were strictly held beliefs. I would have died for them. So you're still a veggie? <laughs> 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 Posers.